Hello. I'm just jumping on real quick. In case Amy gets on here later to look, I'm going to show her how I'm going to do them balsamic um, carrots. So we decided to cut the carrots lengthwise because that's the way I like my carrots. And I'm putting it in the jar, okay, like that. I'm just putting them as tight as I can, like that in there. Just fitting them in there like you would a spear pickle. And then I'm pouring, um, I put two, two cups of um, brown sugar, three cups of water, and one cup of orange juice in this syrup. Okay, I didn't want it real brown sugary. I just wanted it to be a sweet like thing so we could do the balsamic vinegar uh, ones. And then I didn't put the balsamic vinegar in here or the butter, but I got the rest of the ingredients in it. So when I open, I'm gonna can these. We'll can for 30 minutes under 10 pound of pressure and that'll be enough for the carrots and then when I get ready to use them all I have to do is pull the, pull one of these off the shelf and put it in the uh, pan or the baking pan and put the butter on it and the balsamic vinegar just sprinkle the balsamic vinegar in it and we'll have our balsamic vinegar brown sugar carrots so Amy if you see this this is how I figured out how to do them hi Shirley hi everybody so I'm doing the carrots now I'm telling you I'm so tired I could bite a bear <laughs> I just I got to get this stuff done so anyway I, I'll show you what I'm doing I just stuffed them carrots in there. My husband cut all these up while I was babysitting today. And I took two cups of brown sugar, three cups of water. It calls for two, but I put three because I, I don't want it so overwhelmingly. I want it to where it'll be good when I put the balsamic vinegar and butter in it. And um, one cup of real orange juice. So I'm just gonna pour that in there. inch head space and then you want to debubble because if you don't debubble then that bubble will go up on your uh, lid and find its way out and it'll take your food liquid with it I learned that the hard way so I'm just going to go around here find a space to debubble because they're really tight in there, but they're still got room to get that syrup down in there. That's what I did. So. Then you're going to take some vinegar and wipe that top because you got that syrup and you don't want it you do not want it on top of there. So then I'm going to take a lid out of the water and put that on there. Finger tight. And then see you got your, your uh, carrots. And then I will take a uh, buttered dish. I'll put butter, butter in it and lay these on top and then put the balsamic vinegar and we'll have our balsamic vinegar carrots already done and ready to just marry in together in the oven. So I've got five. My canner only fits five. So I'll have to do probably five more after these. And since it's only 30 minutes, it's not going to be that bad. <laughs> so I'll do that. And you can just do the carrots if you want. You don't have to do all this other. But this is the 
recipe from the old ball blue book. It said two water, two brown sugar packed, and um, a cup of orange juice. And I just added an extra cup of water because I didn't want it so syrupy till I get ready to make them in the oven. Okay, now you're gonna go around there. Of course, you guys probably are not canning this time of the year. My, my year's not ending. <laughs> I got stuff I've got to get to. Still got 40 pounds of bacon. My husband said, what are we going to do with the bacon? I said, take it out of the freezer, and that way I'll have to get busy at it. I figure we'll get a lot of that done this weekend. So there is carrots. I see one little place there that isn't stuffed so tight. I'm going to make sure it's stuffed if I have to do it all over again. But I got plenty of carrots. That's my problem, is I try to do things perfectly the way I'm thinking in my head. And sometimes you just can't do that. bubble. Once you debubble, then you can see all your places. Now I gotta redo that with vinegar. And make sure you always, 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 always do the tops of these. Another one. If I can get that other one off of there. All right. So these five will go in the canner. I think it'll take five. If not, I'll just put them in with the next load. But all right, it's glad to see you all on here. I just wanted to show you how you could do an easier, if you can, you know, if you can, to do the carrots. It only takes 30 minutes, you know, to put them in the jar and put your syrup over them. And then when you're done, then you take them out, put them in your oven pan and into some butter and... Um, balsamic vinegar and then you could throw a little bit more brown sugar on it. I didn't put much, you know, I made it lighter so I'll probably put a little more on it when we get there. And another thing I wanted to do and I forgot, I always put onions in my balsamic vinegar carrots. So now I'm going to do these but the next ones I'm going to push onions down in them too. So because that's what makes them taste good is the onions and carrots and the balsamic and the brown sugar and all that butter and all that stuff together. So, anyway. Let's see if anybody said anything. Good evening, Kathy. Ah. Uh, I'll tell you, you, never know when you're going to catch me alive. I mean live. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Good evening, Patricia. Everybody. Hi, Vicki. So, you know, all of us has just got the, the lag after Christmas, I think. It's just... I knew I, I, I couldn't wait to, to get back into Canon after Christmas, but it, it just, everything wore me out. And um, 
I'm so sick of candy. Looking at candy and fudge, I, I, I'm ready to go on. I'm ready to divorce that onto something else. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm doing carrots. And what I did for our supper, it was so simple. Because I said, you got that big pork chop in there you haven't eaten yet? I said, I'm taking these hot dogs. And I steamed the hot dogs in the hot dog thing. Then I put them in some Coke. Put them down in a pan and coke and put some honey sweet barbecue sauce drizzled it over in that coke laid them hot dogs and stirred them up a little bit and i made them in the oven in one of my tupperware dishes and that's what we had i just picked one up on a fork and ate it like that so that's what i had it was really good you should try it sometimes i didn't have any ginger ale that's what i usually do them in but if you take ginger ale and put it in a pot, a pan, and just put your hot dogs in there, no water, and cook them in that, you have got the best hot dog you ever ate. And years ago, that's the way they used to do them in the, um, like the baseball, you know, big baseball games and stuff like that. And everybody always wondered why it was so good. Well, try it. Try it. Uh, just take a two liter um, ginger ale pour it in a pot and put your hot dogs in it and just cook them just cook them in that and that's what I did but I put mine in the oven but I used coke this time because I didn't have ginger ale it does something to them they just got a good texture and taste to them okay let's see here Oh, Judith, I'm telling you, I am not beautiful. <laughs> if you only, you can see probably how tired I am tonight. Just tired. And all I want to do is just, well, I've babysat for the last two days, and then we come right off Christmas and all that. And I have had to get down on the floor today as big as I am with these bad knees and play Barbies for about an hour on the floor. So... About two hours after I got back up, I finally got back up. Uh, the baby said, Ma'am, I'll get on the floor again and play Barbies. I said, Grandma can't do that twice in one day. Grandma's not getting on the floor twice in one day. It's too hard to try to get up with my knees. So that's what I did and stuff. But uh, there's a couple, um, couple or a few that's been sick and not feeling well, not feeling their self and stuff. I've, I've had a few on my heart today. And so, <laughs> oh, Judith, it's just life. Life, life, life. It's like that box of cereal. It's just life. I'm not complaining. It's good to be tired because if I wasn't tired, it means I didn't do anything today. I would be bored. I never, ever get bored ever I always can find something to do and sometimes I can find something to do and not do it <laughs> so anyway these are going to be if I can do a little bit each night it's doing something that's that's what we got to do and uh, I'm thinking about making some beans and ham but oh gosh I got so much on my mind have you guys ever had so many things you wanted to do and you don't know how you're going to get to them like, I still got to do sweet potatoes. I still got to do white potatoes. This is January almost, and this canning season should be over. And uh, me and Tom only have one pint of applesauce left that I made the other night because we eat it. And um, then that <laughs> there's all that bacon. You know, I've already done the 35 pints of chicken. It was chicken thighs, and it was fresh. And I've done that, so I'm really happy that's done. I've got my broth done and stuff. So all I have to do is, you know, take it out of the can now. And um, let's see, who was it? Margaret, I believe, wanted to know how um, to make the pot pie that I made, pictured on there the other night. I didn't make that. Um, 
someone gave me that and it was really nice. It was a 12 inch, but we had a piece of it and we decided we didn't really uh, care a lot for it. So I'm going to make you guys a pie, a chicken pot pie, the way my husband likes it. Okay. And um, we'll, we'll do that in the iron skillet and it won't have a bottom to it. It'll just have the top crust, but it'll have a lot of goodness in the middle of it. And it's one that you can add or take away anything you want. But since I've got all that chicken already canned up, already processed, it's gonna make it so much easier. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna make the kind that he likes and that I like. I don't know about you, but I'm getting so I can't hardly stand to eat anywhere. I just, or that stuff you buy in the store or, or any of that stuff. I mean, we was really blessed with some stuff made in the store that like the stuffed peppers and the chicken pie and everything. And I fixed it and Tom's like, I could do a piece of that pie, but I can't do them peppers. Them just wasn't any good. They make like the ones you made before. I said, it's because I didn't make these. They were given to us. So, anyway, it's, I guess it's better to prepare for us ourselves if that's the way we want to eat, okay? So, that's what I'm doing. He's trying to prepare and stuff. So, I'll have it on my shelves. Sweet potatoes out of this world. We have been blessed and then blessed again and then blessed again with sweet potatoes so uh, I owe a brother in the Lord another sweet potato pie but I got to get my pie shells back first or not my shells but my plates and uh, blessed with onions you know you don't want to just throw that stuff aside and waste it I mean it, you got to do something with it because if, if the Lord's given it to you through whoever then you need to use it. We do not eat out. Yes, Judith, it is. It's a lot better here. And I, and it's the way we like it. You know, sometimes things are... I'm getting to where... I, when I was younger, I loved Mexican. But I went out to a Mexican restaurant one time. And the hamburger meat... In the Mexican thing was really really good but it was so full of grease that I was floating in grease and I ate it and I got really sick and now I can't stand anything Mexican it just ruined me I have had a good Christmas I had all my kids and grandkids here I'm going to go see my oldest daughter and grandson here soon, probably next week. And then that'll complete. I like eating at home too, Michelle. And Michelle, you made some awesome looking applesauce today. I haven't been fortunate enough to get any more apples yet. I'm going to have to buy them too. Um... I thought they would have some come in today, but they had like big boxes of them little dinners of macaroni and cheese, and they had uh, Boston Boston Market like chicken with stuff in it that somebody sent down here to me. And but the apples, the apples is what I'm praying about that I want to get some apples so. And I'll get these carrots done. Once I get these carrots done and processed tonight, then I can go on to the next thing. But we will make a chicken pot pie because we need to have something different. Can't eat hot dogs every night. <laughs> so anyway. I came home, flew in here, cleaned the table off, cleaned the dishes done everything I could possibly do and then I started getting my stuff ready for the canning so us ladies you know how we are we got to just keep going we got to be like that energizer bunny and keep going ticking 
So, anyway, that's what we got to do. I would rather be tired and stay up and do it than to not do it and know that I've wasted it. Wasted something that God has given me to, to can. If you ask for something, you're bound to get it, you know. Um, I have, Michelle, do you remember how many jars are uh, Nesco pressure canners take? The, not these are not wide mouth. They're regular jar, pint jars. I did five to put in there, but I wasn't sure if it takes four or five. I'm hoping at least it takes four. I know it takes four of your wide mouth jars and quarts, but I want to do these pints tonight, and they're not wide mouth. But after I done all this, my husband comes in. He said, have you been shopping back in my uh, office lately? I said, no. He said, I found a whole pack of the plastic still on them, pint jars, wide mouth. I said, oh, I wish you'd have told me about 20 minutes ago. I wouldn't have had to put them in this. I could have done them. So anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Amy, if you get on later, I know, you know, you're not feeling very good. But when you get on, you can see this is how we're going to do our balsamic vinegar carrots once again. Do your carrots, and we done ours french fry style the long way. Pack them in there really tight. Put two cups of brown sugar in a pan. I put three cups of water into that brown sugar and one cup of orange juice. Heat that up and pour it over your carrots. And then process them. And then after you get done with that, then you can take them out and put them in a pan, uh, like a casserole dish with butter in it, and then put this in it, and then squirt your balsamic vinegar over it, and a little brown sugar, and then you've got your balsamic carrots and onions. So, the next batch is going to have onions in it, because <laughs> I forgot. So they are good, and Judith, you can make them without canning the carrots. Just make your carrots like this. You can do them in penny size, but we do them like this, and then uh, take, cut them up. You don't have to cook them. Cut them up, cut your onions up, and put them in there, and then pour, or just, no, just put brown sugar and butter over them, and pour about a cup of water in that, and then cover it up and cook them in the oven. Bake them in the oven. You talk about something good. Uh, I just went ahead and threw the onions in last month, or last time I made them, not last month, because I thought they would really be good with onions the way my taste buds was that day, and they were. They turned out to be really good. So, you know, you might try that sometime. It, it's really good, and you don't have to can it to do it. You can just make it. That's what Amy did. So anyway, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just come to you right now. And Lord, I pray for the, the ladies that I talked to today that's not feeling well and, and got things going on in their life. Lord, we just pray a miracle, God, a miracle healing for Fiona and Nigel and the two other ladies I talked to today. And God, I just pray that you move upon them, lighten their spirit, God, and let their heart be light. Let their heart be joyful. Let everyone on here's heart be joyful tonight. And let them rest in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, I will be done now. Judith, you've never done it. it you, you should try it sometime. If, if you know, you want to doctor up some carrots. You'd be surprised how good they are. So... I'm going to see how many jars my canner will take and um, go from there. I'm going to take these over there and put them in my Nigel the canner 
and Bonesco and get busy. So God bless you all. I love you and I hope you have a good night. We'll be on with possibly a chicken pot pie. Not tonight, but tomorrow. So God bless you all. Love you.